Okay, class, now we have snowflakes gently falling. When I saw that I had not done that, I was a little confused because I remembered playing it, but it was for my demonstration of using the, the uh, damper pedal or the sustain pedal. So this piece <coughs> on Dantino, which has always been a little bit <coughs> ambiguous for musicians, a little going. Does, so does a little going mean a little faster than going or a little slower than going? As I've stated before, the indications given by the editor and the recordings that come with the book all tend to be quite fast. And so uh, it's really at your discretion. Snowflakes <coughs> gently falling would not be falling too quickly. <coughs> so this is, uh, uh, you keep the pedal down all the way to the penultimate measure where you change the pedal for the new harmony and then change it again for the very final measure for the last harmony. Otherwise, you put your foot down. My teacher used to sarcastically say, put your size 12 down there and keep it down there until you change the pedal. Okay, so we have this uh, gently, snowflakes gently falling. And um, it's whole tone scale, which uh, I've gone over with you before, where we can put the pedal down and play C, D, E, and then the three black keys. Or you can take the two fingers on the black on the two black key groupings and the B F G A B with your right hand. It's like floating music, which it works very well with uh, snowflakes floating in in the air, gently falling. Okay, so there's this one and this one. Just two different um, uh, whole tone scales. All right, so this starts written here, but it's played clear up here, and so it's a, an octave higher for both hands, at, for the right hand, excuse me, like that. So since the notes have legato signs and dots, that's called portato, slightly different than a violin portato, which means slide between two notes. This means a slightly detached non-legato touch in piano writing music. And so uh, this the same pattern that uh, under five fingers, you just keep your hand here for this pattern here on C, then it moves up one step to D. So both hands move up a step. Then you're going to have to do the octave shift shifts. Here it says loco, which doesn't mean crazy. It means as is. So you would play it as is, it's written, not the octave higher any longer. Here you have to pay attention to the fact that the left hand comes to the bass clef from the, I'm sorry, the right hand comes to the bass clef from the treble clef here. So it's going to be middle C with your right hand. And then both hands are in the bass clef the rest of the way. So here is gently, snowflakes gently falling. Start out with the position here. I'm hoping both hands are in the, 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 the picture there. Now you shift your hand up. Don't change the pedal. Now you come down loco as is. Stays here for a couple rounds, goes up. Hear how the sonority has built down an octave. Change pedal. Change pedal. take your time for those last two chords. I don't think you have to do them exactly in time. Okay, so that is gent Snowflakes Gently Falling. I'll play it one more time.
pinky is tied here, so you keep your pinky down here for the last two chords. <laughs> 